How can you teach your child to listen to you? Or how can you get your child or children to listen to you without having to? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hello, you are all welcome to another wonderful episode of Parenting Essentials. You are welcome. I believe you all had an amazing week. And on today's episode, I'll be teaching you on how you can get your child to listen to you without yelling. Let's get started. Number one thing that is very important for you to do as a parent is for you to think like a child. First and foremost, why would you want your child to listen to you? If I ask you this question right now, I know I'm going to get a whole lot of different answers. Because I'm the mother, because I'm the father, because I'm the parent, because I'm more experienced than him or her. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you thinking and the perspective of a child. Think like a child. Use children's perspective when you are having this thought. Children will think, why do I need to listen? So you have to think up like a child and get the reasons why your child needs to listen to you. The second thing you have to do is to tie your consequence to the communication. Behavioral psychology is how we train our brain to respond to something. So there is need for you to train your child. Train your child is all about psychology, conditional response. When you train your child on how to listen, then your child tends to listen. But I want you to know that you can train your child to listen and your child also can train you to yell. I've gotten this question a couple of times. Oh yeah, my child doesn't listen to me. My child doesn't listen to me. I need to shout, I need to say it like 10 times before my child will listen to me. I need to raise my voice before my child will listen to me. In that case, you have allowed your child to train you that you need to yell before it clicks into your child's brain that mommy is serious right now. It means that something has gone wrong. There's been a training that is already registered into your child's brain. If you can call your child first time, not listening second time, third time, and you're waiting on the tenth time before your child would listen due to your yelling, can you ask yourself, why did your child listen at the tenth time? What is the difference to yell? So it means it is registered into your child's brain that when my mommy called the first time, do I need to listen? Is it very important? No. The second time, she's still joking. The third time, I think she's not serious yet. The fourth time, it doesn't really matter. Not until the tenth time that you have to yell before your child can respond to you. It is already registered to your child's brain that when she yells, it means she's serious right now. Then something needs to be done first because this is about your child's psychology and your psychology. So it means you have to attach consequence to every communication. If you call your child once and boom, your child listens, it means your child has registered that the communication and the consequence comes together. Mommy is calling, I have to go now. It's either I go and something good happen, or I do not answer and I face the negative consequence. So, what do you have to do when now that your child is not listening to you every time? It means you have to move your consequence that you are waiting to the same time up. And you have to let your child know by your calmness, your calm face, and yet you are strict with what you're saying. So you have to let your child on the line. Many a times when we are giving instruction or our children have done something wrong, we still tend to smile about it. 
calm face does not mean you should be smiling at something wrong that your child has done. So, they need to be able to differentiate between when mommy is serious and is urgent and there's no time when you shouldn't be serious. When it's playtime, they know it's playtime. But when you call your child or you give your child instruction, make sure you tie the consequence along with your communication. Another thing that is very important for you as parent to know is for you to ensure that your words are important and they stay valid. How do I mean? You have to turn your words from garbage to gold. If you have been given what I can call empty threat before, what you know you cannot use as a form of punishment or consequence to a negative behavior to your child, never ever say it. For example, you know you will never lock your child up for no reason. You know within yourself that you can't do that. But you kept telling your child, if you don't do that for the last time, I've warned you, I'm going to lock you up. That is a garbage word, empty threat. Because your child knows that mommy is just blabbing and shouting. Never ever use what you know that you cannot do to threaten your child as a form of training or as a means of correction. I am going to slap your face now if you, non, if you don't do that. If you know you will never slap your child. So never ever say that. Your words have to be gold. Respect your words and your child will tend to listen to you without having to wait until you heal. But if over and again you've been saying something and you're not following through with the consequences that you have given, your words become a garbage, empty words and trash. So ensure that the validity of your words to your child is intact. Mommy said so, I better do that now or else this is what is going to happen. But if you keep saying this is going to happen and it never happened, thank you my son, God bless you. If you keep saying, it kept giving me thumbs up. Thumbs up, mommy. Well done. I love you. This is going to... Thank you, precious. This is going to be a form of negative thing to your child. Mommy's just going to shout. She's going to rage. She's not going to do anything. So your child is always going to wait until you get to that point of blabbing, shouting, and yelling. Ensure that you give your word strength, power, authority as the mother or as the father or as a parent, or as a caregiver. Oh, thank you, my daughter. Thank you, Peculiar. They kept giving me a thumbs up. I think mommy's doing a great job. Thank you, I love you, PMP, God bless you. Thank you. So, on to this episode, I believe I've been able to give you a few keys and a few ideas on how you can help your child to listen, how you can teach your child to listen to you, follow instruction without you having to yell. Oh, listen! Don't get frustrated. Don't let your child press the button and be waiting to wait for mommy. If she's not shouting, she's not serious about it. So it's about psychology. Children's psychology are very, very deep. You know, it's response. Response is what you teach. When she shouts, she's serious. That is when they're going to listen. When she raises her voice, that is when she's serious. So always try. I said this in the last two episodes. To always wear a calm look, a calm voice, and a calm body. Yes, your child knows you're serious. Even if I'm telling you with a smile, if I say don't do it, the child knows. If you do this, this is what is going to happen. The child knows that this is not an empty threat. And mommy is just going to do exactly what she has said. Thank you for joining me on this amazing, amazing episode. I'll be coming more next week with more tips on how to raise amazing child on amazing children if you're new here my name is oye oye Lyo, your parenting coach and i'm so glad you're stopping by today don't forget to like our videos to share with your friends and family and to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll see you next week on another amazing episode 
on parenting essentials. Have you seen the new skit that was released last week on the Vision Guide YouTube channel? If you have not done that, it means you have not subscribed and press the bell button. So go ahead, subscribe, and remember to click the bell button. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your like. Thank you for your share. You know I love you. This is from the Vision Guide. You can call your PMP. Bye for now.